Option G, November 2010. Distinguish between fundamental niches and realized niches. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the definitions. And you need to know that a fundamental niche is the potential mode of existence of a species. So the absolute maximum where it could reside. Whereas the realized niche is a subset of that. The absolute maximum niche is not, um, is not able to be realized. And uh, the realized niche is the actual mode. So what actually happens? And the example that I give is that, say, if you have um, mice which are living in a particular area, there are 20 different holes that it could live in, then two of those they might not be able to live in there because one might be occupied, occupied by a predator, whereas another one might be occupied by um, some competitions, a, a different a mole, for, for example. And that's what I'm writing down here. I'm giving examples of reasons why the fundamental niche is not achieved. I've talked about predation, I've talked about competition. There are two reasons why the fundamental niche is not achieved and a realized niche is what actually happens. Now let's talk about the next part. This three mark question is describe a primary succession in a named type of habitat. So name type of habitat, remember to name it. And I'm going to talk about um, new land which is formed from a volcanic eruption. Now primary succession, the concept of that is that it's an um, area or substrate which has never had um, organisms on there before. This is in comparison to secondary succession which previously there might have been um, organisms, fauna and flora present there, but now has no longer been there. So let's talk about primary succession. What happens is that pioneer species um, are the first which are to settle down, and these are producers or order troughs which uh, settle down there. So there might be lichens or simple grass or simple moss which uh, settle down on a blank piece of stone or blank piece of um, rubble, for example. This then causes a change in the environment. Um, this could be through creation of um, organic soil, so breakdown of the substrate so that it is more... Uh, suitable for future organisms to grow. Um, then this causes um, increasing change or gradual changes in the ecosystem and these are known as successions. So the more successions there are, uh, the more um, change there is. And a climax ecosystem may be achieved and this is the ecosystem which is the most advanced. So you've got a very basic, you've got the first, you have the primary succession all the way going up to the climax ecosystem. And this is a, is a big change from the start, obviously.